just left the gym. Tomorrow is my birthday. I don't quite know why there's been such a melancholy of emotions. I don't know if I use that word correctly, but I'm trying to say that I don't know why this, this birthday, I've felt so many mixed emotions as this birthday approaches. I'm not that old, but I'm not that young. I'm not that old in the grand scheme of what youth is, though I'm old, and I'm not that young. And I think that's probably why I feel such a mixed, such mixed feelings about this birthday. Going into this next year, I'm gonna practice gratitude and gratefulness as usual. But for real, for real, the biggest thing I'm excited about this birthday is like, yo, I really don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck anymore, man. I just don't give a fuck, bro. I just, and you know, I say that with such fervor because I really do care too much about things that I really don't give a fuck about, if that makes sense. And let me explain it for those of you who think that doesn't make sense. I think this year of, uh, this year of becoming older and being older than the youth, but younger than the old. That's how I like to put it, time justifying it myself. But like I was saying, older than the youth and younger than the old, that's the year I'm walking into. A main thing that I'm gonna absorb and really practice this year is to stop letting my mind make me think I care about things that I really don't give a fuck about. Things like, oh, I didn't get this many likes on my Instagram. I haven't hid my likes on Instagram for the past seven months and it's such a freeing and just liberating action because it's like, really, why are you even taking the extra step to hide your likes? It's because you're scared of the perception that you have. You're scared of what people are gonna think when they see how many likes you got. You're worried about what people are gonna say about you and your brand, and you're worried about other people looking at you as any less value because you might not have gotten the like count that you wanted. Because I don't know anybody hiding their likes because they get too many likes. Do you? So let's just be real. So things like hiding our like count on Instagram, that's an example of our mind tricking us into thinking that we care about what people think. Specifically for me, because I really don't. Things like, oh, do I want to wear this outfit or do I want to wear that outfit, but I'm worried about what people will think. Yo, dress up. Wear what you want to wear. Be who you want to be. Because who is going to stop you? Who are you waiting for permission from? I don't get it. And it's funny because as I say all these things, I realize how much my internal monologue, the volume on my internal monologue has lowered that negative voice in my head that's like, oh, don't do this, don't, don't wear that, oh no, what are people gonna, that guy is like, damn near dead and gone. I can't say he's dead because I know that he's here to protect me from certain things and I don't wanna kill him. But as for the little, like, for example, two years ago, he was much louder than he is today. You know, I, I, I almost didn't, it stopped me from taking so many actions that I almost, like I cringe when I think back to some of the thoughts that I used to have and some of the things that I didn't do because I was hesitating or because that voice in my head was so much louder than it is today that wanted to protect me from doing the uncomfortable things. So many women I didn't approach because, oh, what if she, do oh, what if she, oh, what if she, what if she likes me? She's probably gonna love me. I mean, look at me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, I, I, you know, do I love me? I, it's almost like I projected my own negativity onto myself. I projected my own insecurities onto my own actions. And that's what made me really learn that the, the better thing to do is to learn how to more positively speak to yourself out loud. Because at least when you speak out loud, you're consciously choosing what to say, you know? You're not letting your subconscious kind of run wild with negativity and protection and, and it's self-defense. So as I've been talking to myself more out loud, I've just realized like, yo, let me stop giving power to these things that my subconscious thinks I actually care about. No one cares about my Instagram likes. I don't give a fuck about my Instagram likes. I don't care about what people think about my outfit. I like my outfit. I don't care what people are gonna think about me posting content. I'm posting content for me and for the people that want to see my content. And I've been seeing a lot of this trend of the fear of being perceived. You're not scared of being perceived. You're scared of being understood. You're scared of people really seeing you. You're scared of being able, you're scared of people being able to point to something that you about you and make a conclusion about you. And the thing is, people are gonna do that anyway. So at least, at least move forward in this life knowing that whatever conclusion people come to you, you try to be in control of it by only putting out the things that you are in full agreement with. 
not only putting out the things that your subconscious allows you to put out, but things that you wanted to put out for you because you know that it represents you. Because people are going to judge you no matter what. At least let them judge something you told them to judge. At least let them judge something that you put out for them to be judged. Instead of letting yourself think, oh, no one's going to judge me if I do nothing. If I do nothing, nothing's going to happen. That is true. If you do nothing, nothing happens. But in the case of life, if you do nothing, you die. All right, that was dramatic. But like I said, if you do nothing, nothing will happen. And only in, and in this life... Doing nothing to control the your narrative, doing nothing to control what you put out, just letting yourself subconsciously move is not the same thing as really doing nothing. What you end up really doing is playing it safe and not allowing yourself to be the person that you know you are because you're scared of people realizing the person you really are. And that's not really living. Live your life. And take it from me, somebody who's choosing to not even celebrate their birthday because they know that they still have work to do. I'm celebrating my birthday by making this video and doing work putting in my videos and continuing to be the best me I can be. That's my birthday present to myself. Take it from me. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. And stop waiting to take action on something that you know, you love, and represents you. Be you. Do you. Experience you. And like I always say, I tell my story to help you tell your story so we can tell your story. Happy birthday to me, and peace.